tension test number two, 2A, with a median nerve bias. So I'm going to have the patient diagonal on the table. So I want you to bring your legs all the way to the opposite end of the table. And I want you to slide your body towards me with your left shoulder hanging off the table. Thank you. So for this one, I'm going to use my right leg to depress the patient's scapula, keeping pressure on it the whole throughout the test. I'm going to start with the patient's elbow bent at 90 degrees. I'm looking for a comparable sign, so I want the patient to let me know when they start feeling tension. I'm going to bring the patient into elbow extension. How are you doing? Good. So with my right arm, I'm going to tuck it under, grabbing the distal radius, and I'm going to externally rotate the patient's entire upper extremity. How are you doing? Good. From here, I'm going to extend the patient's wrist along with their fingers. How are you doing now? Just fine. So from here, I'm going to keep tension, keep pressure everywhere, and I'm going to start to abduct the patient's upper extremity. I feel some tension. Okay, so we feel tension. So can you bring your right, right ear to your right shoulder? Does that make it better or worse or the same? Worse. And then bring your ear to your left shoulder for me? Better. Okay. So we've developed the comparable sign or the tension for the patient. So we can let it off. Then we do both sides.